Hello friends. In this lecture we will talk about principal stress and principal planes. So before moving on to discussing what principal planes and what principal stresses are, uh, we will recap what we did in the part 4 of compound stress and strain video. We took a general two dimensional stress system. We took tau complementary shear stress, we had direct stress sigma y, direct stress sigma x and we found out stresses on an inclined plane which was inclined at an angle theta to the plane AB. Okay, so those stresses were sigma theta and tau theta. We derived the expressions for sigma theta and tau theta and they were like sigma theta was equal to half of sigma y plus sigma x plus half of sigma y minus sigma x cos 2 theta and there was one more term tau sin 2 theta and the expression for tau theta was half of sigma y minus sigma x sin 2 theta minus tau cos 2 theta so these are the expressions that we derived and we will need it in defining what principal planes are and to find out what principal stresses are so first of all what principal planes are principal planes are those planes on which shear stress is zero that means a plane at which tau theta is equal to zero will be principal plane and normal stress on those planes are called principal stresses so to find out at what angle the principal plane exists we have to substitute tau theta equal to zero in this equation so we have zero in place of tau theta we have half of sigma y minus sigma x sine of 2 theta minus tau cos 2 theta from this we can have value of tan 2 theta which will be equal to 2 tau sigma y minus sigma x so this expression tells us the angle at which principal planes exist this equation will give us two value of 2 theta 1 is 2 theta 1 let it be 2 theta 1 and let other be 2 theta 2 so these angles differ by 180 degree so theta 1 and theta 2 will differ by 90 degree okay so this outlines a very important fact that principal planes exist at an angle of 90 degree to each other okay so that means that principal planes are perpendicular to each other so now let's move on and find the value of principal stresses we have got the angle at which the principal planes exist from this we can have the value of sine 2 theta and cos 2 theta and then we can substitute it back in the equation of sigma theta to find out principal stresses now we have here this expression of sigma theta we need to find out cos 2 theta and sin 2 theta. We have tan 2 theta for principal planes is equal to 2 tau divided by sigma y minus sigma x. We can represent this expression in form of a triangle. We have 2 theta angle here. So tan 2 theta is equal to perpendicular by base. So we can represent this side by 2 tau and this side by sigma y minus sigma x so we know hypotenuse h will be equal to root over sigma y minus sigma x whole to the power 2 plus will be 4 tau square okay so sine 2 theta will be 2 tau divided by 
सिग्मा वाई माइनस सिग्मा एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर टाउ स्क्वायर एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर दिस विल गिव यू टू वैल्यूज ऑफ टू थीटा ओके सो एंड दे विल डिफर बाय 180 एटी डिग्री सो वेन एंगल्स डिफर बाय 180 एटी डिग्री साइन गिवस अस टू वैल्यूज वन पॉजिटिव वैल्यू एंड वन नेगेटिव वैल्यू एंड सेम इज द केस विद वैल्यूटी okay one on each plane okay so now sigma theta is represented by sigma 1 2 sigma 1 is the first principal stress and sigma 2 is the second principal stress and it will be equal to half of sigma y plus sigma x and plus half of sigma y minus sigma x cos 2 theta will is let's plus let's write plus minus here and we have cos 2 theta value equal to sigma y minus sigma x so this will be square and you will have sigma y minus sigma x whole square plus 4 tau square as denominator and then you'll have plus minus tau sin 2 theta is Two tau, so here you will have two tau square, and this will be sigma y minus sigma x whole square plus four tau square. Let me erase this for you. So now we have here sigma one two is equal to half of sigma y plus sigma x, and we can add these terms. together we'll have denominator as sigma y minus sigma x whole square plus 4 tau square we can take half common and inside we'll have sigma y minus sigma x whole square by taking half common we'll have here 4 tau square and this will be plus minus okay we have taken half common from the numerator so here it would be 4 okay so it will reduce to half of sigma y plus sigma x these are actually the same terms but it has a square root over it so we'll get plus minus half sigma y minus sigma x whole square plus 4 tau square so this is an expression for principal stress on addition you will get one principal stress and on subtraction you will get another principal stress so let us write what we have done till now first of all we have found out the angle at which principal plane exist it exist at tan 2 theta is equal to 2 tau sigma y minus sigma x And then we have found out the value of principal stress sigma 1 2 which is equal to half of sigma y plus sigma x plus minus half of root over sigma y minus sigma x whole square plus 4 tau square and these principal stresses are very important because these are the maximum and minimum values of normal stress in a general 2d stress system okay and we can prove this from the expression of sigma theta we have sigma theta equal to half of sigma y plus sigma x plus half of sigma y minus sigma x cos 2 theta and plus tau sin 2 theta and if we want to check at what angle do we have the maximum normal stress 
we can differentiate del sigma theta with respect to theta this will turn to 0 and here we will have half of sigma y minus sigma x minus 2 sine 2 theta and here we will have 2 tau cos 2 theta and we will put it to 0 and then you will see that tan 2 theta will come out to be 2 tau sigma y minus sigma x it is the same angle at which the principal planes exist on which tau theta is 0 and we have seen now that these are also the planes on which we have maximum and minimum normal stresses so these principal stresses are nothing but your maximum and minimum normal stress in a 2d stress system so that's it for now we'll meet in the next class till then bye bye